Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, which is English Fluency Journey. My name's Anna, and today's video is going to be about very important question that I'm actually asked very often, and that is how important, if it is at all, to have a native speaking teacher when you learn English. But before we get into this, if you're new to the channel and you like our content, consider subscribing and hit the notifications bell to be the first one to know when we upload new videos. I'm going to share with you my take on this question. These are just my thoughts. I've been through this process and I'm still in it. Now I teach and I'm in the position of a teacher as well, so I can take a look at the situation from both sides. And the short answer is yes. Ideally, when you learn a language, it would be wonderful if you had a teacher who is a native speaker of your target language, and it is very important. And if this answer is enough for you, you can just stop watching this video. But if you want to hear more about different situations and options, then continue watching. So, if you're all up for a native speaking teacher, I have great news for you. The online language school Lingoda offers a business English course so that you can speak better English in relevant business situations. They decided to launch this business English course, which is even more flexible and affordable now, after positive feedback from students who have tried business English on Lingoda. So, now you can start your business course with qualified native speaking teachers for only 79 euros per month. And if you use this discount code, it'll give you a 25 euro discount for the first month. And you'll find this voucher code in the description box below along with the link to the course. Or you can use another great opportunity they give you to try their platform for free. So you can get three group classes for free that you have to use within seven days. Now, attention, attention. You can get either three group classes for free or a 25 euro discount, but not both at the same time. But guys, I think that's an awesome chance that you don't want to miss, especially if your work requires knowledge of English, business English in particular, or if you're planning on working in some company and you want to be ready for different situations and business meetings, that's your chance. Their lessons are structured and very flexible. You can literally have lessons anytime 24-7, before work, after work, in the mornings, in the evenings, at night, on weekends, any time that suits you. After posting a video on Lingoda that you can watch clicking the link over here, I got a lot of positive feedback from people who had tried their courses before. And you can read reviews on their website and you can check their Instagram to read even more reviews and to get a lot of useful information and tips in general. And also remember that it's a school that offers you not only English or business English courses, but also German, French, and Spanish. And you can have private lessons or lessons in small groups so that everyone can get the attention of a teacher. Now let's get back to our topic. And the first thing that I want to tell you, and it's not to offend anyone, is that teaching, being a teacher, is a vocation. It's hard work, especially private tutoring. Sometimes, and it doesn't matter whether you're a great qualified teacher, a native speaker, not a native speaker, there's just so much to this besides knowledge. You have to be patient and flexible. You have to know how to explain things so that that particular person can understand. And also, you have to be at least partially a psychologist. And a teacher can be all of those things. But sometimes people just don't have a connection. It's just hard to communicate. Maybe their vision of this teaching learning process doesn't correlate whatsoever. If a person is a native speaker of your target language, it doesn't automatically mean that they are the best teacher. And if a person is not a native speaker of your target language, it doesn't automatically mean that they don't know anything. I personally know so many teachers who aren't native speakers, who know English grammar perfectly. And at the same time, I know a lot of wonderful native speaking teachers. To be honest, it really depends on people. If chemistry didn't happen, if it didn't click, I'm afraid you're not gonna like those lessons. You're gonna get that unpleasant feeling. You're not gonna look forward to another lesson. You're not gonna wanna learn. This connection is so important. A person that you're going to work with may not have 
answers to all of your questions, may not know everything, but you feel comfortable with them. You have something in common to talk about. It's fun to learn. You can learn together and from each other. And believe me, those kind of lessons in that friendly atmosphere are the most beneficial. What you definitely don't want to feel is superiority over you. And hear something like, hmm, you should have known that by now. Or it's funny that you don't know that. Or see irritation when you don't understand something and ask for it to be explained one more time or in other words. Now let's talk about what is better, having lessons with a native speaker or with not a native speaker. And here I want you to answer a couple of questions for yourself. Do you feel confident enough and comfortable enough to learn English exclusively by using and speaking English? Do you have a fear of speaking English and have a communication barrier? What do you exactly want to work on? Do you want to improve your grammar or maybe you want to work on your speaking skills or on your pronunciation and accent? Or you're taking an IELTS or a TOEFL exam and you need to get ready. And now I'll give you a couple of scenarios. You have a strong belief that only working with a native speaking teacher you can achieve that level of English that you want. And you have this urge to learn from native speakers. And it's not a bad thing. And if this is you, then you definitely should find one for yourself. Because in this case, it doesn't matter how great a non-native speaking teacher might be, you won't be satisfied. Situation number two. And let's start from the beginning, which is when you're only starting learning a language. Or you have been studying English for years, but you're still kind of stuck in that beginning stage, which is a lot of people. And here you have two options. You can start studying with a native speaker right away. And yes, you will have a problem with expressing yourself and a teacher with understanding you. But if you find a good teacher, you'll be fine. You'll deal with that. And in the end, you'll be very pleased and proud of yourself. Or you can start with an ESL teacher who is not a native speaker and for whom your first language is their first language as well. It's easier. And then if you want and when you're confident enough, you can switch to a native speaker. If you have a fear of speaking English or if you have a communication barrier, it doesn't matter. You want to speak as much as possible. You want to use every opportunity you get to speak. This is the only way to deal with this, to overcome this fear. If you don't speak, there's no way you'll be able to improve. Situation number four. Let's say you want to focus on grammar and or get ready to an IELTS or TOEFL exam. Not to say that native speakers can't help you with this. It's obvious that they can. But here is a great chance that a non-native speaking English teacher can be even more qualified and can know more because when it comes to this, to grammar and to those exams, they study all of that really thoroughly. If you want to work on your accent and pronunciation, it has to be a person who studies accents and pronunciations, who can explain to you how to make the sounds of a particular accent correctly who can identify your weak spots and help you work on them and can guide you. And it can easily be a non-native speaker because not every native speaker and even not every native speaking teacher can explain these things to you. They can say something like, well, it's not the way it is pronounced, it's pronounced like that. But you can hear how it is pronounced. The problem is, is that you don't know what you're doing wrong and they can't tell you because it needs to be studied. By the way, if you're searching for websites where you can find conversation partners or native speakers to learn English, you can check out those videos of mine. You can see the links above my head. You'll find this information in the description to those videos. You need speaking practice. And this situation is interesting because I got to be honest with you. If you want to get this feeling of a language, if you want to hear how words, idioms, and phrasal verbs are used naturally, then we do have to speak regularly with native speakers. But the problem is that you have to find a native speaker who will be willing to talk to you regularly. You have to become friends with them and you have to have something to offer to that person as well. 
so that it's not like I need you because I need to practice and I need to improve my English. Or you can hire a native speaking teacher if you can't make friends with native speakers. But it can be pricey and it's fair because someone's time is expensive these days. But it's not to say that practicing with non-native speakers is bad for your comprehension or useless. You can improve your speaking skills dramatically simply by talking to anyone. You already have something in common with a non-native speaker who wants to practice English as well for that matter. And we are all unique, interesting people. We can learn so much from each other. And also, you can find a non-native speaking English teacher with whom you can practice your speaking skills. They can be fantastic conversationalists. But if you hold back because you think that a non-native speaking teacher can't teach you anything, then you, my friend, are wasting your time. Or if, God forbid, you think that they don't deserve to be paid for their service because you don't think that the knowledge that they can give you is as valuable as what a native speaker can give you, or their time is not that valuable, I've met such people, then I sincerely feel sorry for you. And if you don't want to pay them and you can't find native speaking conversation partners and lessons with native speakers are too expensive for you, then please consider practicing with non-native speakers as well. I think that's a great option. Well, guys, I hope that this information helps you to make an informed decision for yourselves. And maybe I managed to change your mind or else to affirm your thoughts. Either way, you are the ones who know what you want and need and the decision is yours. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.